right now we are taking an inside road and uh, it is showing about 52 minutes from here uh, which will be about 45 kilometers we have just crossed one village and uh, this is one good road there's a lake also on the right hand side actually so i'm finally out on the highway uh, this is an h75 highway we are in the midway right now and uh, as you can see it's raining this plan is going to flop looks like doesn't matter, we'll make it possible. take a straight highway inside this hilltop which you can see over here now from here we have to take a, a left turn and there's a warehouse also over here not sure what is written but now we are in a straight highway inside and uh, we are about uh, three kilometers away from our destination of off-roading going on over here we are almost there three minutes so finally we are here uh, you come from this way by the way uh, there's a little off-roading I parked my car over here there's a mountain at the background so now we are heading towards the uh, Chota Ladakh so it's it's very peaceful today let's check it out so this is it this place is called Chota Ladakh there's a different name also actually uh, the localites call it with a different name but uh, due to some vlogger or something who discovered this place you know it's called Chota Ladakh for some reason check it out guys Ooh. as you can see we are here in Chota Ladakh and uh, this is a of course a rock bed they have extracted um, the stones from there so much that it has created a deep hole over there and where water has accumulated over the years and right now i'm on the edge and there is also a companion over here this is gabru jairila and uh, check it out i'll uh, do a few cinematic shots probably you might like it down over there so the way you have to come from is from that side but it is not advisable to go inside water okay you can just come till here and you can check it out So this was one of the place now they have cut down the trees a bit uh, that's why you are seeing like this or else it used to be pretty dense and anyhow you can come over here and do a dry picnic because you can see 
it's very clean uh, and there are rocks around you can sit over here and you can have your food but guys get your dustbin and do not litter whatever it is do not break the bottles and everything take all your stuffs in a carry bag along with you I have just taken a small route over here and this side when you go uh, there are fields around and you can hang out over here also actually it's a good place and if you have any uh, off-roading bikes and all probably you can come over here to explore there's a good track and it goes uh, there's another hill on back side of that once my bike comes then I would love to come over here and explore one more time so that is the final view uh, from here you can still go further but it is dark right now and we don't want to take any risk and uh, i'll be wrapping up this vlog over here thank you so much for watching and uh, do subscribe like and comment and uh, you know help me make 5k subscribers so that i can buy a drone that's all for today thank you for tuning in this is ashish from the traveler's tale signing off bye this is bonus video uh, we are in uh, nh75 right now and we have stopped here for food and this place is called khalsa punjabi family daba and it's really good we are having our food over here and uh, after that i'll head back to bangalore it is in nh75 so while going back or while coming towards uh, uh, this hotel other probably you can stop here and uh, have your meal